Uh, many of you have uh, asked, uh, uh, because I know you're intensely interested in process, uh, when the President uh, is going to or has most recently spoken to Republican leaders on the Hill. I can tell you that he placed calls earlier today to Senator McConnell and Speaker Boehner. Uh, I had uh, good conversations, but I have no uh, further readout of those calls for you. The President agrees uh, with his Secretary of Defense, his current, uh, as well as his future. He agrees with the Speaker of the House. He agrees with the numerous Republicans who have said on the record that the uh, onerous cuts uh, in the sequester to defense, the across-the-board indiscriminate cuts uh, to defense, uh, will harm our national security interests, will reduce our readiness, will result uh, in a reduction in flight hours, will result uh, have resulted already in uh, changes in our rotation for uh, aircraft carriers to the Persian Gulf. These are real-world consequences. They also will result, as we learned yesterday, in uh, hundreds of thousands of furlough notices uh, to the men and women who are part of the national security team who uh, work every day to protect the United States and our citizens. Okay. Uh, so, uh, you know, the, the consequences here are real. What we unfortunately see these days, uh, including in an article in the New York Times today, uh, is an indication from Republicans uh, that they don't really care. Uh, you know, the, the whole point was for it to be this bad uh, so that Congress would never go along with it. Unfortunately, there has been a change of heart in Congress, uh, apparently, on the Republican side, especially in the House, uh, and an embrace of uh, an approach that uh, has real-world consequences for real people who are sitting at home or will be tonight uh, after work <coughs> wondering if they're going to have a job in a month or two months.